One of the few remaining V Reverie talents, Salmon Lordette, will graduate May 20th. In contrast, Idlecore has announced three new English talents that are set to debut May 11th, and a new agency, Aegeus Link, has hired on some new staff. We'll be talking about all of that and more in today's edition of the Eldritch Archives. Let's discuss these developments within the VTuber agency industry. This said, I'm Shagmami, your local Azure Tentacle Monster Sea Slug, bringing you today's cup of tea in the Eldritch Archives. May 2nd, 10 p.m. Pacific, V Reverie tweeted out the following. Thank you for supporting V Reverie and Salmon throughout the months she has been with us. It is with great sadness that we announce the graduation of Salmon Lordette. Throughout her time with us, Salmon has been an invaluable part of the V Reverie family with her bubbly yet endearing personality, bringing smiles to her Salmonians, be it through her silly league streams or alluring ASMR streams. However, Salmon has had challenges with her health and has recently taken a health hiatus to pursue treatment, which has thankfully been effective. However, while she's on the path through recovery, we understand understand that her condition will require attention and care to properly make her full recovery. After discussing multiple options and alternatives to balance both her health and passion for streaming, both Salmon and V Reverie have come to the difficult conclusion of holding a graduation to allow Salmon to fully focus on her health and recovery. As a talent and unique streamer and entertainer, we deeply appreciate the time Salmon has spent with us and all of her Salmonians, forging memories that will last many years to come. Her positive spirit leaving her unique mark on each and every one of us. We wish her the best of health and hope for her success in all her future endeavors. She will be holding a graduation on the 20th of May 2024 and will be streaming as her health allows in the weeks leading up to her graduation. Her YouTube channel will remain up and memberships will automatically be cancelled at the end of May. Kindly note that all purchasable merchandise and voice packs for Salmon will be also closed at the graduation with download links to voice packs to be discontinued. More information can be found in Salmon's update and announcement stream. We seek your understanding and ask that you respect Salmon and not pry for information that she does not make public due to the nature of the situation. We thank you for understanding for all matters and inquiries related to this matter. Do contact the agency at official at v-reverie.com. Please refrain from directly contacting Salmon or any of our talents. Thank you for your continued support of V-Reverie. V-Reverie, 2nd of May, 2024. This would be confirmed by the talent herself, May 2nd at 10 11 p.m. Pacific. Graduation announcement. Thank you all for the fun times we've had up until now, my silly Salminians. Your Salmon Queen will swim upstream and back into the specific ocean on Monday, May 20th. I love you all so much. Thank you for making my dreams a reality. 30 minutes later, Salmon would go live talking about her personal health and the graduation announcement. While I will not go into her health, it would seem that it did contribute to her graduation decision to some degree. If you would like to know more about those details, I will link her video below discussing things. I would request that folks do not pry into her health-related matters. Please instead send her all your love and support, for it's very obvious that she does adore streaming and her community. So this is very difficult for me to say and it's very difficult for me to admit. Although I do love streaming and, and by the way, streaming is a part of me that I will never give up. It's just that right now in my current state, I cannot in good conscience say that I'm managing well. Between streaming, day job, and having to feel constantly plugged in and online, I really don't have the time to take the breaks that I need or to live the healthy lifestyle that I should technically be living, at least for now. <laughs> I have made the a difficult decision to step away from streaming for a period of time. After careful consideration, I have decided that the best course of action is for me to graduate as Salmon Lordette. And my graduation date, uh, along with the date of my final stream, will be on Monday, May 20th. This decision didn't come easily, and trust me when I say that uh, the agency and I, we have considered considered many 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 different alternatives. I've taken breaks weeks at a time. I've lessened the amount of streams I stream every week and I've even stepped away from media for a bit. But um, none of that really helped alleviate my stress completely. It's like in the back of my mind I was still always thinking of salmon and salmon salminions. I felt like I had to constantly be present and to push 
myself even when I wasn't feeling well enough to do so. It's been difficult. It's something that I wanted to do because of my love for streaming and I'm genuinely like I love being salmon and I love streaming. It, it makes me happy so it's difficult for me to balance it you know like I want to stream but I don't know my limits. <laughs> <laughs> and I I am really sorry and I do feel like that by doing this I'm letting you all down and it does feel like that I broke your trust in me and I know that I am asking for a lot but I hope that you will all come to understand and respect this decision that I have made. I have to put my health both physical and mental health first before everything else at least for now but like that doesn't mean I don't care about you I really do so that I hope the remaining time that we have until the date that I graduate we can make so many silly billy memories together and we can just have a really good time being silly I just want you guys to know that I am reading chat I can't respond or else I will cry but thank you thank you so much and you know Sam and Lordette she's kind of like my baby in a sense i started my streaming journey with salmon and she has been with me ever since the name was a name from a personal inside joke that i've had ever since i was in high school so she means a lot to me and I'm glad that V Reverie and all of you saw the potential in me and in Salmon and without the staff my super talented and kind senpais and my very cute kohais I would not have gotten the chance to meet all of you my Salmons my silly billies and I am glad that I got to meet you and I am so happy that you all have come to love salmon just as much as i do it's very difficult for me to say goodbye to salmon she's my baby and i love her so much i love you all so much i hope you do understand why i do have to make this decision although i will be bidding farewell to salmon lordette i'm not saying goodbye to streaming and vtubing as a whole so this isn't like goodbye forever for those of you who are asking <laughs> i just need to take a break I, and i need to i need this time to allow myself to live a healthier lifestyle and to recover fully before returning to streaming and being able to <laughs> live this degenerate lifestyle i've been living so i will be graduating as sam and lordette but i am not bidding farewell to stream because as I've said before, streaming is my passion and it means the entire world to me. But I do need to take a break. That part is for real, for real, on God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, I've been pushing myself and it is time for me to give myself the time I need to recover fully before committing again. So I hope that um, gives you a little bit of a peace of mind. Yes, it's just a uh, see you later, alligators. Hopefully we meet again. <laughs> Needless to say, the whole outpouring of support from Salmon's community and the VTuber sphere as a whole was absolutely wholesome and supportive. Many netizens were understanding, sympathetic, and so kind with their words to Salmon during the stream, on her YouTube video, and even on her Twitter page. However, many questioned and even alleged. Please note that I have to state allegedly here due to the concern that there possibly could be backlash from the agency should I say anything definitive. That Salmon would not be able to keep her IP that she created prior to joining the company. As stated during Salmon's announcement video, she had created Salmon during high school, and many netizens were upset with the possibility that the talent has fully lost the rights to her own creation. Further, the talent herself has said that she would not be using the IP further and would be leaving behind Salmon. Unfortunately, all V Reverie's graduation announcement really did was stoke the fires beneath the comments of the graduation notice. This left many to speculate that indeed the talent had lost rights to her IP due to her contract, from comments calling them IP thieves to claiming 
saying that V Reverie is a black company or Kuro company. Taking a moment to clarify and give context to the situation, Rima Evenstar wrote the following. To give a bit of context, V Reverie lost their entire Gen 1 and Gen 2 as they all graduated in a short amount of time with the exception of Nova. Some ex-talents have been vocal about their displeasure with the company. The only remaining member was Salmon Lordette, and Salmon's case was exceptional as she came in with her own model and IP. She is finally set to graduate on May 20th. Now the question remains, will Salmon be able to keep her IP? As a reminder, this is the same agency that nearly lost its entire roster of talents this past year, and many concerns have been voiced considering the loss of the likes of Cherry, Rana, and Akiko, and more. I have previously covered the loss of these three talents in particular. If you would like more information, I will link the video somewhere on the screen here. Moving along from the V Reverie situation, however, I want to talk about a couple of positive industry announcements, starting with Idlecore. Announced around 12 p.m. May 5th, Idol teased a new talent. Someone you know might be joining Idol. Can you guess who? Netizens went wild and many posted memes, silly jokes, and bogus guesses all in fun. Jerma, Pikachu, Ninja, MatPat, and many others were guessed as to who the new talent would be. Interestingly, Idol seemed to have been pushing the envelope of traditional taboo of keeping past lives secrets. As later May 6th, they would reveal at 9.40 a.m. Pacific, Idol's excited to announce the debut of Encore featuring Enya Ingus and two other additional VTubers joining with their existing IP, scheduled for May 11th, 2024 at 2 p.m. Pacific. Mark your calendars for the reveal of the identities of Enya Ingus and two other members. Read the thread for more information. Encore is our first music-focused VTuber group featuring three VTubers. Enya is completely rebranding with a new VTuber IP. You might be familiar with the identity of her previous VTuber life, which will be revealed during her debut stream. The other two members will join with their existing YouTube channels and VTuber IPs. All of the talents will debut on May 11th starting at 2 p.m. Pacific. The reveal of the members' identities will happen during any stream. For an agency to encourage and even make a past life as a part of a VTuber's debut is almost unheard of within VTuber agencies. However, this is also Idol, who was known for announcing previous talents Rira Ron's past life, Kyo Resu, through advertisements. Nevertheless, it would seem that Idol continues to try and stand out in very different ways from other agencies as a whole. Taking on a different approach with past lives acting more as a portfolio, like Hollywood actors or voice actors do. This is really refreshing. I do hope them all the best. This said, it is pretty awesome that Idol is getting their first music focus group, and I'm very excited to see who the other VTubers are. As it is stated that Enya, whose design is absolutely adorable by the way, is rebranding. But the other two talents are joining from previous existences. This does lead me to wonder if perhaps these may be former Prism Project talents, or maybe they're really well-known indies. Post your thoughts below, as it would seem that Otocore really wants to encourage people to give their guesses. I will most likely be covering the debuts next week, probably on Monday, so be sure to catch that video when it does go live. Also, be sure to watch the debuts yourself. They're bound to be really fun and creative. I'm hoping, as they're music-focused, there will be at least a song for each of the talents, but we'll just have to check that out on debut day, which will be May the 11th, 2 p.m., 3.30 p.m., and 5 p.m. Pacific, respectively. Before we touch on our last topic, let's take a moment to watch a bit of the debut trailer that was posted on Twitter. If you'd like to watch the entire trailer, I will link it below. Again, if you're able, please support the talents by attending their debut. And because Idlecore is encouraging it on their official Twitter, post your speculations about who these talents could possibly be. Finally, wrapping up with another awesome announcement, Aegeus Link, a new talent agency, has just hired on a community manager and safety advisor by the Twitter handle of Gucci the Mod. In a time and age when so many talent agencies are played with red flags and black flags, this is a refreshing bit of news coming out of the industry. Special announcement. I'm excited to officially announce that I will be working with Aegeus Link as their community manager and safety advisor. Looking forward to working with Yoi Kacho and his team to establish a strong foundation for healthy community growth. Aegeus Link confirmed this with the following, We wouldn't be more blessed to have your help in cultivating an amazing community. We look forward to working with you, Gucci. I cannot express how much a good thing this is. Having a safety advisor within an agency someone talents can go to if they're having issues is an incredible resource. Just last Saturday, I had been reviewing Meriwether's interview with the Nexus CEO 
video, when a question came up, if Nexus had a counselor or someone offering mental health support, it would seem that Harry had not thought about this, and honestly, personally, I think it's needed. It's really important to have positions like human resources, mental health counselors, and safety advisors offered to talents. So many times we've heard of talents having no one to turn to during their time within the agency, and considering how front-faced talents are and how much time they spend engaging on social media and streaming, I believe it's sorely needed. Additionally, Human Style also announced their position with Aegeus Link. It would seem that this staff member will be handling matters concerning content creation and marketing according to the following tweet. It is with deep pleasure I announce that I have formally accepted my role of advisor to the VTuber agency's Aegeus Link. I would be advising the team in all things content creation and marketing. I will also be heavily involved with the addition process of Gen 1 Talents. Please apply when the apps open. Thank you to Yoi Kacho and the team for my first VTuber agency job opportunity. Aegeus Link replied with, We're incredibly unfortunate to have you join our team, Yuman. We look forward to the projects and promotion ideas that we will cultivate with your guidance. This said, I don't want to go too in-depth on Aegeus Link as I have something brewing for a future video, so please look out for that. And if you can, give Gucci and Yuman your support and congratulations on their positions. I am eagerly awaiting what will come of Aegeus Links and their future prospects. So, what are your thoughts on everything we talked about today? Have you heard of V Reverie and Aegeus Link? What are your thoughts on the companies themselves? What about Idol's new group, Encore? Who do you think these new talents are? Who are you wishing for them to be? And finally, if you haven't, please give all your love and support to Sam and Lordette, and please consider watching her graduation. Comment below, and we'll continue our conversation there. But for now, my dear cultists, I must bid you all a dark eve. Thank you for all your continued love and support. If you stayed this long, please remember to give this video a like, consider sharing and following. As always, I'm Shog Mommy, your local Jotenical Master C-Slug. Take care and stay awesome. Bye-bye, bye-bye.